Welcome. We're here at the IoT Tech Expo in London Olympia and it's quite packed. Uh, and I'm being joined by Teppo Hemia, who is the CEO of WirePass. Hi, Teppo. Hi, Knud. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, let's have a discussion on IoT. Connecting things is quite difficult, and I think we've realized that in the last two or three years. It's not the same as connecting computers or mobile devices. And um, can you maybe add your perspective on why it's so difficult and, and around IoT and connecting IoT devices? Sure. Um, so if you look at the amount of connected devices by now, um, a lot of that amount is much connected about an attachment to the humans. And we are seeing that amount of connection saturating, let's say, up to 10 billion connection points. Um, but when we are looking at IoT, it's a, it's a really a game changer because now the connect connections are attached to the devices. So there's no really understood, understandable level of where it's going to be, and it will be enormous growth of connected devices. Um, but not only the volume is the challenge, it's actually the hundreds of use cases that are building up the volume. And most of these use cases are representing different set of requirements for connectivity. So that very high diversity of different needs in the field is a game changer for connectivity. We must find a new ways, new ways of building the connectivity and principles of architectures to come up uh, with the solution. And I guess that's where you guys come in because you are focusing on something which might be called a decentralized system, I guess. Can you, can you elaborate on the benefits of that? Absolutely. So there are a few principles in our business model. One of that is the decentralized uh, operation of the network. It means that there's no central point of uh, management for large scale networks because it's obvious when you see it that the decisions done locally at the device level are much beyond the quality of any centralized system. Radio environment is dynamic and if you have analog for traffic, for example, when you're driving your car, even autonomous car, basically the decisions for driving are done locally, depending on what's the weather condition, what's, how the lanes are occupied, traffic lights and all of that. Radio environment is similar and we have developed a system that doesn't need any external intervention to form the network and keep it up and running. The second important point in our business model is that we are completely software based. Because I mentioned this diversity. Uh, if we would make one hardware, we would actually exclude quite many of the potential use cases. So we have chosen uh, a strategy where we focus on software. And actually by doing that, we are exposed to many different problems in these different uh, applications. And we are learning them and enriching our product for the benefit of whole ecosystem that is working with us. So those are the two main principles, um, how we address the diversity and evolving requirements of IoT devices. Okay. So as we're now going into 2017, uh, how do you expect the development of your technology and other technologies in the global IoT market to evolve? So first of all, it uh, regarding the segments that we are uh, working in. So today we are focused on smart metering, uh, electricity, water, gas, uh, lighting, indoor and outdoor, as well as asset tracking. So we are seeing that those segments that are already, let's say, having certain maturity will really gain on growth because now they start to have working solutions to build up those use cases. But we are also seeing a great number of emerging use, new use cases where we are still seeing some you know, trials and errors and, and, and challenges to build up those. So we need companies uh, who can bring innovation in IoT so that the evolving business needs can be fulfilled. So 17, I think, is a really important turning point um, of seeing these new technologies, getting them higher volumes, and also enabling these new nice use cases that the uh, whole IoT is about. Good, thank you very much, Teppo. Uh, great insights. Uh, keep enjoying the show here today. Very packed and uh, look forward to hearing from you again later in the year and maybe on a 2018 update. Thanks, Knud. It was a great pleasure uh, to discuss with you and uh, certainly we will enjoy the show. Thank you.